All right, all right, guys. It's Daniel Miko here again, and um, finally we get to do the settings of the store. So um, this video is mainly um, to set up your store, how to, what settings to work on, what to do, and things like that. This is more of a newbies kind of thing for those who are starting out. Um, if you're ready, uh, good with uh, Shopify, this is not going to be so relevant um, to you. Um, but if you're just starting out and you don't know what to do, remember we are creating an e-commerce business. I already did a video about that. If you have not yet watched it, go watch that. Secondly, I also created a, a video um, showing you the marketing plan, the, the stuff that people don't usually talk about that you should be actually um, aware of. I also did the video on that. There's video number two. This is video number three in the series and this video should help you get started with your e-com store today. So by the time you're sleeping today, make sure you're done with this part of of um of your e-com store because uh later on again i'll be giving you the second part of this video uh because there's two sections to the set to the settings there's the there's there's what i call the um sort of the admin uh online store settings then there's the admin settings okay so there's the online store settings and the admin settings. without further ado let's get right into this so why shopify um so many people have been arguing over this. Uh, many of my friends are like, dude, like, why do you have to go through Shopify? And I'm like, dude, Shopify, like, it's so easy. Um, I don't, I don't have to sweat it when it comes to technical stuff. Uh, first of all, this, the website's already optimized. So the, you, you should not worry about speed. Speed is one of the reasons many people drop off from people's websites. So if you're, for example, using WordPress and you've not properly optimized your site well, then you're most likely going to have a lot of issues uh, of bounced visitors. People will come because the site is taking long to load, they walk away. So I usually prefer Shopify because it takes away all that hassle. But also Shopify um, has a great app store. They have one of the best app stores. And this, these apps help you in so many ways. It, it, the, the apps can help you with um, social proof in that every time someone has purchased something on your store, a pop-up will come and show guys there's people who have purchased. It can help you with upsell. They can help you with all sorts of these things. So I, I love Shopify for these two things. Uh, upsells, um, integration, especially with Clavio, email marketing. Uh, it makes it like it, it takes it to another level because right now the only two email marketing services I use are Clavio and Drip. And Clavio for me is, is the best when it comes to e-commerce stuff. So then... Um, when it comes to speed and everything else, it's easy. So that's really what I, I prefer. Some of you might be using WordPress, that's okay. Some of you might be using Magento, that's okay. Um, I don't have any issues with that. It's my preference. And uh, I would recommend that for if someone's starting out, go with Shopify. Um, it, it, it costs about 200 and about $320 a year um, to have Shopify. You have a 14-day trial, um, after which you'll be billed like $29 and if your store is already making money $29 should be nothing to you. All right, so first things first um, Let's come here. Let's see what we, we have uh, Number one should you get a general store or a niche store now? I Always and always advise everyone all my stores. I, I once started with a niche store, but it was um, in the coffee niche and with the coffee niche um a niche is basically a market, a group of people who are interested in a particular thing. So when I talk about the coffee, coffee niche, I'm talking about people who are so interested in, in coffee. Yeah. But the problem is with niche stores is that um, if you're not so good with marketing, if, if like it, it limits you a lot when you start out straight around, not even good with marketing, but it limits you a lot in that you can't expand outside of that niche. For example, if you're selling coffee stuff, it's going to be weird if you start selling cut stuff again on the, on the, on the shop. People will be like, wait a minute. You know, it just gives, but with a general store, and, and here's the thing, unless you already know that niche, this niche is a winner, then you want to start with a general store. So you test the niches, test different products, test different niches, and the ones that you see that are really picking up, if you there, then want to go ahead and create a niche store, then you create a niche store out of that. But I usually, and always start with a general store, okay? And I would recommend you start with a general store. Leave the idea of a niche store alone. A general store is like something like Towakana. A niche store is like coffee lovers. Okay? So always start with a general store. That's my piece of advice to you. Um, secondly, 
before you go into any other settings, we need to have the name of the general store. So most times I would start by, uh, for example, one of my stores is called Towakana. It's still offline right now, but it's called Towakana. Now Towakana um, is 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 a word in Luganda. It's it's a word in 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 one of the native languages in my country, uh, which means don't dispute this or don't argue with me or like someone telling you this thing is really good and you're like no it's not it's like don't 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 refute this it's it's really good that's the whole concept of towakana so i just picked that and called it towakana so the the, the the whole thing is usually you want to start by searching the domain name and for me usually when i'm for example if you go and start searching towakana i i, I use namecheap uh mainly because i like i, I the, I've used them for forever, so I, I just usually use Namecheap. I don't know for what reason, but anyway, I just love them. So when you come to Wakana, you most likely is going to be taken because I already have it. Um, where is Tawakana.com? Yeah, you see, I already have this domain name. So, but you can see it's a one one word domain name, very easy, very memorable, and it's 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 stuff that people can can quickly spell out so if you can come up with a name in your language something that is cool something that is that can create a brand come up with that if not uh, then you can use tools like um namevine if you come to namevine.com or so you go to namevine.com i'm doing this video live so um I'll register with Namecheap. Okay. That's an affiliate thing, I think. But I can with Namebind. You need like um. You need, for example, a beginning domain. So for mine, I can say um. Gumani. Okay. Gumani is is something in my language which means my blessing, this blessing of mine. Okay, this blessing of mine. So Gumani is 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 here. So I can check it out. So it's giving me different no, names name suggestions for the store. Okay. So I can see Gumani Dev. You know, just go through and pick something that is 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 that looks legit, something that looks um some something that people can when when a visitor comes to your website, they don't look at it as something fishy. Okay. You want something that people can have trust in. People can look at and be like, Yeah, I think this is a store I would like to buy stuff from. Okay. So, for example, for me, this is um, something I would check out. Uh, you see, gumani.com is available. So, guess what? I would buy that. Okay. <laughs> so, this this would be my store. So, let's say this is my store, and I and I and I'll go ahead and buy gumani. Okay. This is now what I would be using as my store's brand name. Okay. So when I come to Shopify, uh, I want to start by entering my email address. You say get started. Uh, Shopify is then going to um, give me a sec. Okay, so I want to create. Um, Let's see. Go at Hotmail. Uh huh. Kumani. So this seems to be available, and I proceed. Start your free Shopify thing. So it's as simple as that. Okay. For those of you who have not yet created a, a, a whatever a Shopify um store before. This is exactly what would happen. So success, your store is ready. Um, so are you already selling in line? I'm just 
um, no, I'm not selling products yet. Uh, do you have something to sell? Um, yes, I'm brainstorming on ideas. I'm just getting started. Next. Uh, say Daniel. Miko. Street Art Forest. 1011 Kampala. Phone. This is not the phone I'm using now. So don't call on it. You, you bounce. 751 enter my store as simple as that so don't, don't really stress a lot when it comes to this you just want to pick out something that is a brand like for me now this word in my language means this blessing of mine okay so you can imagine and the thing is available so you usually want to stick with one word or two words just pick something that is going to be brandable something that is going to be memorable something that is easy okay Pick a beautiful word in your language or anything. Now, this is what the store is going to look at. This is the first area. So the first thing we are going to work on today, right now, is um, we've got in our general store. Okay, we've got in the name. Now it's time to buy a domain and add Shopify. Now, this is the easiest part of everything. So when you've got in that Gumani thing, you when you're in, uh, let's say, name chip here you just go to view cut after you've added it you add the domain name you go to view cut uh then you start the checkout process blah 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 uh, they'll give you an ssl free of charge uh, i think for i think they, it, it's what it's necessarily something that name chip gives with their orders um let me see who is protection yeah it, i think it's who is protection that i was talking about but anyway uh you confirm your order order the domain but i'm not going to order this because i don't need that domain this is just for example purposes so when you've ordered that domain and you're inside your account the first thing you want to come and do is right now um come to the online store okay this is where we're going to start our settings from all right so the first thing here is we want to pick a theme okay so when you when you preview your website right now this is how it's looking okay this is how it's how it's looking so we want to change this um so most first and foremost usually i come and explore free themes and there's one thing that i usually use where is it the supply theme um i like this blue one a lot depending on my market but let me go with the light one uh add supply theme so it's adding the supply theme the moment he has added it to this will change to customized theme sweet so it has added the supply theme to my shop already okay i like the supply theme because it's it's easy um it's clean it's easy and it's very it's not difficult to deal with okay it, it's very simple a very simple theme you don't stress a lot with it this is how it, it would look like the supply theme okay so the first thing we want to go and do is uh, customize our theme there's a few changes we have to make immediately so this this is the first area of settings that we're going to deal with um, and when you look at your supply theme here it's it's broken down into sections okay this is the header the header section deals with the menu these things that you're seeing here uh your logo that you that is going to be here um announce something here announcement bar okay you can decide to show the announcement bar until up here are you seeing this yeah so this is free shipping for the next 24 hours that's if you really want to just add something there or you can let it be a link to something blah 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 but i'm not going to i, I don't let, let me just let me, let, let me click save so the first thing um we want to do is come here now you see the, how this thing is created this would be a slideshow of your different products we don't need that slideshow okay you can add this back later on but for purposes of this, um, I don't need the slideshow. 
uh, this is a collection. So you, you, you're you seeing this. So this would give you the, you can say this is the, these are the two most featured select collections. Then these are the best sellers. You can change the name, this is the best seller. Then this is uh, maybe uh, new arrivals or something like that. So we're going to just leave two of those rows. Um, so I'll do this and delete this. Um, rich text, talk about your brand. We don't need that as well. At least not for now. Um, slideshow again, we have one here. We're deleting that. So right now I only have the collection list, the future collection and this. So we can add this later on. Then we click save. Okay. So when we are done with this, uh, oops. About that, let's go back here. Um, let's check to make sure we do take this and take this section. Um, so okay, there we go. This is what we wanted. Image slide, let's move this as well. Um, just want as 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 little as possible. Many on the debut. Ah, this has changed my theme. Sorry. I was wondering. I was seeing something different. Okay, sorry about this. Uh, I wanted the supply theme. Yes, this is what I want. Publish this one. This is the one I want. Okay, sorry about about that 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 um okay, so we we had you see this is where we had reached the supply theme, okay, sweet, so now we that we have this, we now go back to okay, let's look at our general settings, so this is where you can change the colors of your theme, what you want this header to look like if you want to change that header to something different the the, the this this background of this thing you can decide to change it to something like that um let's see you see that so depending on what you change it to that's up to you uh you click save it's saved uh you move on to changing other things you can change the favicon now this favicon is what will appear are you seeing instead of this shopify thing that's what your favicon will look like i've never i've never really wasted time on that uh, social media button so if you've Put all your social media accounts you've created them then you add them here the only social media account you need as of now will be uh, facebook later on for facebook ads everything else i don't think is relevant i don't really waste time on it the checkout there's nothing really i do there um everything else i don't do anything here except for uh, when i want to change the menu here and things like that or change the header then i just go back so that's that part of the theme is already done Okay, then from this, you have block settings. Now, blocks, block settings are not useful. Uh, we're not going to do content marketing right now, at, at least um, not really right now, And ac except when we're going for um, SEO purposes and things like that. But right now, it's not useful. Uh, we're not doing content marketing. Pages, I barely have pages, except uh, usually when I want to create a page, I will only add maybe one about us page or something like that. Uh, navigation. Um, this is where you change you'd, you remember that part of the, the menu this is where you'd add maybe other things on the menu, we'll talk about this in a later video, uh, domains now you remember why we were deciding to first look for the domain here and buy it now when you bought that domain you come back here uh, so usually you come and say connect using existing domain, when you buy your domain through um, uh, Shopify, it becomes very difficult for you to receive uh, emails though you can send emails but you can't receive emails you'd have to use a third party for example like another third party like gmail or something to receive emails and send back i mean to send to send emails sorry but you can receive emails from other people but you can't send them sorry sorry about that yeah so usually i prefer to register my domain somewhere else um get my email hosting from the third part then come and connect using an existing domain so what i'll do here just to show you for example purposes uh, you come here and i'll say let me just say miko.com 
because it's already registered. So this is very simple. Um, when you come there, it will now tell you view instructions. So you'll just click on view instructions. And this is just copy and paste, okay? You just copy and paste. Uh, they'll tell you add domain to this, connect to Shopify, verify this, okay? So they'll just, they just tell you, okay, which, which platform are you using? Desktop, good. They say go to this, connect existing domain, do that. Like it's step by step until your domain is fully added, okay? So I won't go into that now because every instruction is there to, to use. When that's done, then you come to preferences, okay? We are now here on the back end settings, okay? You'd come to preferences. Now this is where you had the, the you add the title of your of your of your store. For example, um, most of the times I'll just put "Welcome to Gumani." Uh, your nice little description of what your store is about. We are about class, comma, expression. and unbeatable prices just write something that is really nice uh that is that is that makes for example this is what search engines are going to pick up and show people when they're when they type in the search engines about your website uh the facebook uh, google analytics you won't necessarily need that right now but it's it's good to have it uh, it will help you see other things this is more advanced we shall talk about it sometime later uh usually uh shopify has analytics that is good enough to help you for now facebook P pixel id we shall add it later on uh we shall add the pixel id later on when we are when we're creating our ads or creating our page i'll show you that later now in order for you to remove the password on your store you have to pick a plan okay and that's why i was saying uh first of all i'm, I'm going to save this so after i've saved that i'll now go ahead and what select a plan so when you choose select a plan uh for the 14 days that you put your you, you're going to need to, to put in your card details okay so i'll go with this this plan here it can go up to with two staff accounts and things like that so this is what i recommend it's it's, it's the cheapest i'll put my card here okay i'm not going to put my card live on on, on, on the show here but most of the times okay let me let me just uh, pause this video and put my <laughs> okay for some weird reason i've forgotten my store password so I've, i just discovered that the moment you, you want to enter in the payment details you have to enter in the payment details and then put in your store password um for it to be validated but somehow i've forgotten my store password so it's doing me invalid but yeah the moment you put in your information i uh, remember the information you filled in earlier on will will be will be here so the moment you put in your card information have your store password at hand so that when you enter the store password uh, they'll then immediately unlock your store so when your store is unlocked um then you finish the first phase of the setup um we shall now go to the second phase of the setup and so this will be the the, the, the follow-up video i want to break this into two just so that we don't get hung up with a very long video all right okay so this is um the second part of the store setup that we shall, I'll be doing and I'll update another video um, early in the morning for you to do this. But I hope so far you're able to do your online setup. Do this, start with this online setup, go through um, getting the domain, buy the domain, get a theme, uh, buy the domain and edit your preferences and pick a plan. Okay. From there, we shall move on to the store settings. All right. This is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it's helped you i call this the boring part of shopify but these are the foundations that are the most important okay so i don't like doing this a lot so that's why i usually hire people to do this because i don't enjoy this part i enjoy the part of seeing the monies and the numbers all right this is it for this video see you in the next one ciao